Tick season's back in full swing, and this year is expected to be, expected to be worse than usual. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk has what you need to know. They're tiny in size, but can cause big problems. Take it from Tom Wetlofer. He contracted Lyme disease from a tick bite. And since then, I've probably suffered from arthritis, I, I believe anyway, from the tick bite. Just today, Brian Maurer with the Pennsylvania Game Commission plucked off four of the pests. He warns tick season is here, and this year it's even worse than usual, thanks to a mild winter and large wildlife populations. But the more small animals um, and large animals that the ticks have to host on, uh, the more that they can regenerate. Mauer says we see the most ticks in spring and summertime because that's when females lay eggs. We have the hatch year larva and the previous year's adults um, are all out in the population. If you spend time outdoors afterwards, it's important to check for ticks, especially if you're in grassy areas like this. Pennsylvania is the nation's leader in Lyme disease. In fact, 25% of all cases come from the Keystone State. Mauer says only a deer tick can carry Lyme. To contract it, the tick has to feed on a small mammal, most commonly a white-footed mouse. And then it can, in its adult stage, uh, attach to another mammal, such as a person or a dog or a deer or any other mammal, uh, and then transfer that Lyme disease into that mammal. He says caution this time of year is key. In Stroud Township, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. If a tick bites you, you can bring it to East Stroudsburg University's Northeast Wildlife DNA Lab. Experts will identify and test it for free, but there is a fee to have it checked for Lyme disease.